Well, I, re I read the predictions. I, I see where everybody's picking us to be uh, last or bottom three uh, in the NHL. I, I hope the players use that as a motivation. As the autumn leaves begin to change, so does the landscape of NHL training camps. It's, it's a land of opportunity here. When, when you're a team that has very publicly stated that we're starting over and trying to get this right, there is opportunity. With determination in the eyes of the players, each shift, each play, and each game serves as a blank canvas of opportunity. A prelude to the 82-game journey, all members of the Flyers organization are willing to showcase their resolve and earn their way back to respect. It's their turn, it's their chance to prove everybody wrong. This is Flyers 2023 training camp, and this is the standard. It's about the future. It's about how we come together as a team. That's how we're going to judge success. Travis Konechny's style of play and Las Vegas have a lot in common. The two share a buzz, an unrelenting electricity. Because of those commonalities, the 26-year-old forward was selected to represent the Flyers at the NHL Player Media Tour in Sin City. I'm here to get an edge. I got to meet some players that, you know, probably would have never had the opportunity to meet. And uh, on top of that, I mean, the, the media day was run really well. You know, it's pretty seamless. All the stations are open when you get there and you're just flying through. And, um, you know, it's a lot of fun too. They had some fun challenges and, um, you know, a lot of stuff uh, that you probably wouldn't get to do otherwise. Travis Konecki, Philadelphia Flyers, dangling machine, works with my brother. I mean, we know where we're at, we're, we're trying to build. Um, I think what we have now is we have a direction, we have a path that we're going to follow. That's the exciting part and I mean, our team has a lot of really good young talent and I'm looking forward to, to seeing the direction we go. They living like bad and bullshit, uh, we living life like the mobile, uh, that's a dozy but I'm groping. Leave it in the past, don't you cruise Younger black and not black on tracks, the trap sacks and packs, but I wax on wax. Yes, that's a fact, but I'll take the slack if they want to act like we ain't putting no so strong as wrong. He hold his own, now he came along and start hitting home runs, but I tell him the best yet to come, cause we just begun, we so far from done. Work hard, compete, give yourself a chance to win every night. You know, as long as everyone's taking care of their job, then, you know, we're happy and, and uh, as long as we're growing as a team and continuing to get better. So I think it, it's not going to be the, the flashy style that everyone loves, but uh, it's, it's the style that I think is going to win us uh, hockey games and create good habits. When the sun sets on the desert, Konechny's work representing the orange and black isn't done. Now back on the East Coast, TK wants to make as big an impact off the ice as he does on it. Up here, buddy. You can put this on the counter up there. A budding star in Philadelphia, Konechny remains grounded, making connections that stretch beyond the ice. You know? Um, I mean, I guess just try them on. Yeah, I'll try them on. Though small? Yeah, the first one. Do you have uh, the gold and another size? Do you know? Oh, right here. These. These are sweet. You like these, eh? Yeah. These are all right here, some lefties down here. Okay. 55, do you kind of like that gold uh, look? Is that like your, oh, yeah. I like your shirt, so you yeah, like that, eh? Yeah. Came up here with a young fella named Amir and we're setting him up with some hockey gear. So uh, we went and picked through all the, the gear and got him the best stuff that he could find on the rack and some cool colors that he liked and uh, he said he's gonna be using it this weekend. I think I'll go with this one. This one? Yeah. Good choice, man, good choice. I like that. I would do the same one. I, I actually, I don't even have that. They, uh, they don't even have us have those sticks yet. Uh, we can't even get them. You get the first. It's great to give back, and I mean, he's uh, he's coming to the first game, the, the home opener. He's gonna be right on the ice, and um, you know, seeing the smile on his face when he's picking this stuff, and he found out he got a jersey and all these different things. Um, it just brings a lot of joy to us players when we're able to do things like this. Let's take a walk, see how they feel. <laughs>
Entering last season, no flyer was more familiar with the John Tortorella training camp than veteran forward Cam Atkinson. Unfortunately, Atkinson wasn't able to turn that excitement into production in Philadelphia due to a surgical procedure that ended his season before it started. Not being able to go to war with my, you know, my, my brothers and, and try to help the team win, whether good times or bad times, you know, just being part of that, that was probably the toughest. Just the nerve pain that I was feeling for three months is I don't wish nerve pain on anyone because uh, I couldn't sleep. Is that painful you couldn't sleep? I had to sleep in certain positions that were uncomfortable, so it's just a process of, uh. of trying to feel somewhat normal. <clears throat> just the process of the return to play, and uh, you know, I just I couldn't get through, um, didn't get through a practice <laughs> by myself. Um, not to get, I don't even know why I'm getting emotional, but um, just a tough year and uh, feel good. I know this is a huge summer for me and want to be part of the solution. Um, and I'm going to push myself more than ever and seeing these young guys obviously take a step. Some guys take a huge step forward. Um, only fuels me to obviously push myself and push the young guys. And, and I don't think we're as far off as people think, especially if guys are healthy. Now feeling 100%, Atkinson has emerged at training camp, motivated to affirm his identity as a difference maker. Summer was good. Uh, a lot of training, a lot of skating, which is solid for me, not playing last year. Uh, spent a lot more time on the ice than I typically would and excited that uh, season's right around the corner. Been cleared physically, mentally. <laughs> Just excited to feel myself, feel normal, feel solid on the ice and ready to make you know, an impact. Come on, boys, let's go get it. Stays the same. They get it in front and they score! Ken Atkinson from the slot. Uh, emotions will be high, a lot of anxious butterflies, but good butterflies. Will be a lot of friends and family in attendance, and uh, just looking forward to get going. Yeah, 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 I got it. Battle. Nice play, boys. Brinky. With Kutz and I being hurt, gave these guys a, more of an opportunity that they typically wouldn't get. And to see a lot of guys take that stride and helping the team, and uh, hope that they can train hard this summer to take another step forward this year. Infusing the intangibles that Cam Atkinson and Sean Couturier bring to the team aims to accelerate the development of younger players. Two players that are emerging and looking to take the next step are Owen Tippett and Morgan Frost. Thank you. All preparation for a new season doesn't just happen at the rink. Today we're at State and Liberty. Uh trying on some new suits, hopefully I, have a, hopefully I have a good one for the first game of the season and hopefully I'll improve my game a little bit. Still enough work to get my foot in, but... The duo has new threads off the ice, but when the puck drops, confidence is Owen Tippett and Morgan Frost's best outfit. You know, we obviously got a, a relatively young group and I think a lot of the young guys stepped up and started to contribute more and feel more confident about themselves as the year went on. I'm definitely excited. I think there's a lot of good players in that, in that locker room and even better people. So I'm excited to get the season going and you know, build on last year. How we came together in, in, in tough times. I mean, obviously we found ourselves down in games a couple times and um, you know, worked our way back. And, you know, guys were working together and that's obviously what we can look forward to this year and it's a good sign. When I walked off? It, yeah. When you walked off, did you see him? Yeah. I'm not sure if he skipped it or not. No, I don't think so. I just felt like I was skating at him, so. We did a lot of work developing our forwards last year. Uh, a number of players, Frosty grew, Tip grew. But I need to give them some latitude about keeping the puck more this year, not always dumping it in, and try to create some more offense. 
I think there's a lot of people that are counting us out and uh, you know not, not expecting us to do much. So uh, you know, I think every guy in that locker room has a chip on his shoulder. You know, everyone has something to prove, and you know, I, I think we just wanna we wanna get better every game, every night. Like I said, we had a pretty young group last year, and to, to see that that core kind of stay around and you know it, to be a part of that and hopefully build and, and be a part of this rebuild would, would be cool. Yeah, I, I guess you can say it is a rebuild, but um, obviously we want to win every game and, and want to make the playoffs and and uh, you know see how far we can take it. Oh yeah. If you're a part of the rebuild and, and seeing it on the other end and however long it takes, it's it's going to be a cool moment. It's never too late to make a good impression. For some players, the last preseason game is a final dress rehearsal. For others, it's a last ditch effort to impress head coach John Tortorella. Well, I'm just thinking, I can do it tonight. I, I'm just gonna leave it for this period, then we'll talk in between, try something different. The players who don the orange and black have put in the work. Now the difficult decisions of training camp arrive at the desk of the Flyers' front office brass, icing the best possible 23 players for opening night. See, we're having tough conversations about what our lineup is, right? Who do you send down? How do we get to our number? We've grown. Well, we added some pieces to the puzzle. And then have some of these kids, Tyson, Bobby, Emil come in, Samula get through his operation and show at camp. Now you're saying, well, what is the line? What are our lines? In the case of Brink and Andre, I mean, they played so well that they forced our hands. You know, it's fun to see some guys really grab it when, when they have a chance. I mean, it was wide open. We told the players from the beginning, and, and whoever would step up would, would have a chance to earn a spot on the team, and that's what Bobby Brink and Emil Andre did. I'm happy for Bobby Brink, you know, because he, he goes through the operation. You know, he's a small guy. To make the team, you have to believe in yourself, and. You just kind of got the mentality that you're going to come give it your best and try to put your best foot forward. It might have to be TK moving up into one of these spots and Bobby Brink coming down somewhere. Yeah, well, one, one thing we told Bobby is to not play it safe, um, and, and he didn't do that. Um, it was fun to see him try, try to make plays. Um, every game he kept getting better and better and making more plays for us in preseason, so um, he, he earned the right to, uh, to start on this roster. He didn't play safe, which I love. A lot like Emil, where he's uh, figuring out what he can get away with. Well, Emil was very similar to Bobby Brink, where you know he wasn't afraid. He made a lot of plays. He's risky. He's young. He's trying to figure out you know what he can get away with and what doesn't work at the NHL level. He's also playing on a smaller ice surface. So it's, it's all positive things. We're we're excited to to see with him. Trying to prove the coach that I'm I'm good enough to to play in this league. So I'm just gonna do my best and let's see what happens. See, I don't think he gives a shit. I just think he, he just plays. That's what I love about him. I don't, I don't think he's afraid of anything. He's going to make a ton of mistakes, but he'll come right back and try to make that same play that he just made a mistake on. That's what's going to keep him going and put him in the forefront playing in the National Hockey League. I love that he's, he's trying to. He's trying to figure out what he can get away with at this level and what works, what doesn't work. It's, it's, it's really good to see that. He's got some balls. Yeah, there's a, there's a lot there. Not there. Zamula, good to go. Good to go. Yeah. He, I, I, I just don't see any any hesitation at all as far as the surgery. And, uh, Shoulder, that's great news. Yeah. yeah. And where he is now, he deserves it. Um, in Igor's case, he was hurt. He had the surgery in the off season. He worked hard. He stayed here all summer. Really put in a lot of a lot of time. And when he played. Uh, he, was, he was steady, he was excellent, he made a lot of good plays that really uh, opened our eyes to, to something special. We hope that uh, he, he keeps elevating his game. It's uh, good to have a coach like Torch. He's pretty tough, he's, uh, he's everybody, but it's good for young guys. Uh, it was exciting to see some of the young guys really step up and, and play well, so that makes us you know, feel that we're going in the right direction. We want to do the, 
the right thing also we want to make sure guys are developing the right way for us it's probably the most critical um, while at the same time uh, you know ice a very competitive team everybody's excited about about what we have and to start the season you know but time will tell how how good we will be the second most uh, exciting thing for me is I think Sandy's come in here and, and basically almost trying to get us the finger yeah, I'm gonna I'm showing and put on some weight, did his work during the summer, and he has not stopped the intensity that he brings. That kind of comes with uh, the territory of where I'm at in my career. It's trying to lead by example and uh, try to help these young guys out. We're obviously going to have a, a younger decor this year, and um, I'm looking forward to the challenge, and uh, hopefully I can uh, rise up to it. Well, who's going who's gonna to take control of our back end? We're, we're going to have some tough nights and go through some pain, but I, I think Sandy wants to be that guy. He's a star. That's what we have there. I want to give him an opening night of the season in the lineup, and I want to give him an opening night of the I think he deserves that. I got a, a really good group of young players that uh, uh, I found challenging to play against last year, and uh, I'm excited to see uh, where I can help and, and um, you know, keep moving this thing forward. Not going to get away, you know, in front of the kids. But he understands. Yeah, he understands. Good. Yeah. Good. It's going to be hard for you to keep my eye on. It'll probably be one of the kids be playing with, with Sean and Joe Farrow to start the season, right? But TK has to have a little faith in the coaching staff. He's going to get time there too. Yeah. But we'll see how it goes because I, I like him and Katie together. I think he helps Katie offensively. I think he gives Katie a little bit of a mindset to score some goals too. That's what I'm saying. I think DK may help his offense. Yeah. I'm, I'm not locked into Noah playing against all the top centers. Right. It's capable of sure. And give Frosty credit, too. Yeah. He grew in that area last year. Yeah. He's had a good camp. Very good. A lot of penalty killing options now. Though. Yeah, there is. Yeah. Yeah. Way more than it. Yeah. It's just the evolution of the team. to him too, he was really excited about his life. They've kind of, they're like the three amigos right now, and, and where they know what they are. It's a fun group. I mean, I saw that right from the get-go. I think everyone gets along, and, and I mean, everyone's different in their own way, which is great, but as a group, we get along well, which, is, which has been fun to see, and it's going to be a fun group to be a part of. Our locker room's changed already. I see, I think it's developed over camp, right? And I think that's a big, big part of how we handle the beginning of the camp. I think it brings in that type of camaraderie and to help one another through it. And they find one another to help push one another. So as we enter the season, it's so encouraging. I think when you find out about locker room is when you go through some shit. A fresh slate brings new beginning and ample opportunities to define your future. A symbol of resilience, this team is determined. Driven to rebuild and redefine Philadelphia Flyers hockey. The foundation has been laid. The standard has been set.